Well, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to the World of Light Smashdown. We are here within the electric plant, and hopefully we will be able to uh, clear this area out as well as make some other progress. And I know that the giant zap fish is in here somewhere. I'm just trying to recall where exactly it is, but we will find it because this is a 100% run. But as we make our way across, we do want to make sure that we pick up the contents of this chest by taking on the Susie fight. We've got a metal enemy in here. And we do have access to the entire roster. It's a two-star fight, so I'm going to try going in with someone that I'm not super familiar with, and we will back out and adjust if needed. And it looks like the red Pikmin was able to do that for us. So uh, not bad taking out a two-star fight with a character that I know little to nothing about. And that beam sword equipped at the start of the fight could be quite useful. There's another spirit fight that we have to take on down here. So let's equip the zapfish there. And it's slippy. Defeat the main fighter. It's timed and the enemy avoids conflict. We have Greninja and Fox. So let's go with someone that has some decent movement speed. Uh, let's try Marth initially. All right, we uh, have Fox out of the picture. So now it's just a matter of can we track down Slippy and take him out as well. Okay, there we go. Right as the timer was going out, we were able to get him. So that's... Uh, one other thing we have. What was the spirit detail on this one? Okay, so you can start the fight in metal form. Which, that will be actually a nice little spirit to have available to us. This gives us access to this chest, which is more skill spheres. And that actually might be enough to give us the double, or fast FS meter, which it does. And now we can work our way over towards the double final smash, which is more expensive, but overall worth it in the long run. We can actually get the tilt attack up while we're in here as well, which will be nice. Ooh, Victini spirit fight. Easy to launch. Only certain uh, Pokemon, which would be Victini, comes out of that. It'll give us hyper smash attacks once we've got it. But uh, getting it's going to be the, the struggle and a half here. Let's lead in with Pac-Man. And see if we can uh, get the better of this fight. Ooh, we were able to bait that out of him. Now the question is, can we... Uh, win this fight and the answer is yes we baited it out of him and he rage quit and that's the win and that's a really good spirit for us to have if we're being completely honest here well, let's see if we can pick up a Pichu real quick that uh, should be a little easier than the zapfish fight Ugh, well you'd think that that would have been fighter uh, easier of a fight than the giant zapfish but uh, Pichu certainly gave me a run for my money there. I don't think Pichu is the answer for Giant Zapfish, but what I think I will do instead is I will reset the roster, or get out of here so I can reset the roster, and then we'll get back in here and we'll try again. Like this fight against Kabora Gabora, for example. This should be reasonably easier. And uh, yeah, that was decently easy. We had the spirit that got rid of the immunity from screen flipping, and this will get us a fog immunity spirit, which is good for us. This fight against uh, Soren the Robin. Alright, Ike's out of the picture here. We'll 
we'll just now need to see if we can do the same for Robin. All right, there we are. Ike out of the picture, Robin out of the picture, magic attack up off of that, and uh, now Pichu is out of the rotation. He got up at a very high damage in that fight, so I was glad to see that we were able to pull him back down. Buzz Buzz, Miss Tiny Mr. Game & Watch. If I remember correctly, this dude's almost microscopic, but took care of him. <laughs> So I guess that's uh, one plus to having a projectile in those types of fights. There we go. Couple up smashes. Mega Man team is done. And we can now reset our roster. We also have a more reliable uh, three host spirit that we can use now as well. So I know that that's Little Mac, but we have to do something to unlock those gates. There's Inkling down here, and I think this is either... We Trainer, or it's something else. Ah, uh, this is, uh, Fighters Take Serious Damage. Which, uh, could go either very good or very bad. So let's throw Olimar into this fight. And see if just throwing Pikmin at this, uh, when the fight actually ramps up is going to be enough for us. Honestly, all we need to do is hold on to the Yunira and... Chuck it at the Rob when uh, the sudden damage takes effect. So that's all that one really had to be. And now we'll get ourselves a new fighter as well. There we go. Duck Hunt did it. And now we Fit Trainer is a part of our roster. And this should be a character that is a little bit more usable, I suppose, than some of the others we've picked up so far. Uh, so Zapfish is going to have to take place a different day, probably when I have other characters at my disposal. But that's uh, at least round things out by uh, cleaning up what's left of, left of today's available roster. Well, uh, didn't end up killing Viridi myself, but she went down, and now we've got a Metal Killer sp Spirit, which is going to make things a lot nicer. Always like it when the heavy-hitting spirit battles like these ones take care of themselves. There we go. Invisible Fighters gone. There we go. Jumping Fox goes away with a couple of well-placed attacks from Pichu. Not bad. And we should actually be able to get an extra fighter while we're over here as well. That's the Ashley fight, which that one's kind of chaotic. So let's come at it from the Min Min angle. There we go. <laughs> that Min Min fight took a lot longer than it really had any right to. But that gets us right up next to our next fighter that we get to unlock here. And just like that, Remote Bomb onto Lucas, that gets us a new member on the cast here. So the Donkey Kong Gengar fight here, I believe slash hope that there's platforms, there are. Which is good because uh, with Pac-Man we might just be able to avoid uh, standing on the ground for a good chunk of this time all together. There we go. Gengar out of the picture. Or the Donkey Kong Gengar, I suppose. And, uh, this Freezy fight is, uh, going... A lot uh, easier than I expected it to, but, uh, you know, when... The, you know, they say fight fire with fire, why not try fighting ice with ice? And that's just what we did with the Lucas here. Alright, so that is going to be just about it for today. Uh, it looks like there's an ice climber fight down here that will hopefully get us the uh, last character we need in order to unlock the DLC characters 
and then we can hopefully take care of that stupid zapfish that's down there. But uh, let me know what you think of this series, if you're enjoying it, I really hope that you are. <laughs> and uh, be sure to leave a like on today's video and let me know what uh, else you'd like to see me do or any strategies you might, you might have in the comments down below. So thanks again for your time and I hope that you have a great rest of your day.